In today's travel tips, travel pro Janine Tornator is taking us on board a carnival ship. Good to see you, Janine. Where are you and what can you tell us about this increased demand for summer cruises? Today, I'm coming to you from Ketchikan, Alaska. I'm here on the Carnival Miracle, and this is one of the many beautiful ports of call that you get to experience on these seasonal Alaskan cruises. It's great because you get off the ship in these ports of call, and it gives you the opportunity to experience the beauty, the wildlife, culture, and history of these great Alaskan destinations. Now, Carnival Cruise Lines says that they're seeing a trend of vacationers looking for longer trips and more adventurous experiences. So the high demand that we're seeing for these summer seasonal cruises to places like Alaska and Europe is really in line with what we are seeing for trends right now. What else can you tell us about the experience on an Alaskan cruise? Well, Alaskan cruises offer really unparalleled access to some of the most stunning landscapes that you're going to see in this part of the world. Many of them, which are really truly viewed best on a cruise ship from this vantage point. A couple of examples, Hubbard Glacier, which is a 76 mile long surge glacier with snow capped mountains in the distance. Fantastic views from your cruise ship. You also have Tracy Farm Fjord, where you see waterfalls and wildlife and just really a stunning view again from the ship. And while there's really fantastic programming and entertainment for families aboard the ship. These cruisers are also really about getting off the ship and experiencing Alaska on land excursions. I actually had the opportunity to experience a really fun carnival cruise excursion. It was a UTV style safari tour where we ventured out into the mountains. We saw lakes, we saw wildlife, the waterfalls, fjords. Then we took a boat ride. We had a unique crab dinner with a flight of local craft beer really a fantastic opportunity to experience what's great about this destination. And I have to tell you, I also have really enjoyed exploring the small town of Ketchikan. It's so charming and full of fascinating history. And all of these stops in these small Alaskan towns are going to give you that unique and memorable experience from Juneau to Skagway. They're all very different. And that's what's so unique about these Alaskan cruises. How far out, Janine, do you think that travelers should book a cruise? Overall, in the travel industry, we continue to see the trend of people booking their travel earlier, further out. And that certainly is true for the cruise sector as well. Now, if you're wanting to take one of these seasonal Alaskan cruises this summer, chances are availability is going to be pretty limited at this point, although there's always the chance of a last minute booking. But now is really the time when you want to start planning and booking these seasonal cruises for next summer. Yes, people are really booking this far out. Carnival Cruise Line has three ships. They're sailing these Alaskan routes. They range from seven to 11 days and they depart from convenient U.S. ports like San Francisco and Seattle. Now, Hotels and airlines typically open up their schedules about 12 to 18 months in advance for bookings. However, cruise lines, they take bookings much further out. Carnival's already has bookings open through spring 2026, and they're soon going to be opening up their schedule for bookings in 2027. So the bottom line is think further out booking those seasonal cruises. If you want to go to Alaska, Europe, even Barbados, now's the time to start booking for summer 2025. You make every excursion look like so much fun. Thank you, Janine. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.